Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 14th, 2016. We just received some tsunami video footage that has come in from New Zealand and a few news reports that we wanted to share with you based on the devastation and damage in New Zealand after this earthquake. Now, we received more video. Uh, this video is down in Christchurch, New Zealand. You can clearly see the tsunami wave coming in. This area doesn't seem to be so devastated as in the prior video that we just watched. And like I said, if, if this tsunami was much larger, the catastrophic damage in New Zealand, not only from the magnitude 7.8 uh, magnitude 7.8 earthquake, but the tsunami could have been much, much worse. And we all know the power of water. Raging water can just cause such serious, serious loss of life and serious damage. The next portion of video is an actual news report from a New Zealand television station. These aerial pictures just in from the area. This house has entirely collapsed and a landslip is covering the tunnels on State Highway 1 near Kaikoura. A seven-person urban search and rescue team is on its way from Christchurch. Look at that, that huge landslip there is on its way uh, from Christchurch in a helicopter to assist with the emergency response there. Now, military helicopters have also been deployed to help. The magnitude 7.8 tremor struck just after midnight local time, shaking people out of bed. Thousands fled to higher ground and at least two people have been killed. Well, uh, the whole hotel was asleep and um, my mum was saying, earthquake, earthquake. So we jumped up and stood in the door for a few seconds and then headed down the stairs very quickly. And the whole building was swaying. We're on the eighth floor tonight, unfortunately. So we're not going back up in a hurry. It felt like turbulence on an airplane. We, we've never experienced anything like that before. A fairly significant shake and, of course, uh, some of our guests uh, a little bit shaken by that too. Well, aftershocks, as you'd imagine, are scaring everyone. The power is out in some areas and tsunami alarms have been going off. The quake did generate a small tsunami earlier, but the threat has since been downgraded. The epicenter of the South Island, some 80 kilometers northeast of Christchurch, a city no stranger to this sort of destruction. Within the hour, we will be coming out with a third report, and this will be a discussion from a seismologist detailing the information pertaining to two devastating earthquakes that occurred on Monday, November 14th, 2016, in New Zealand. He will discuss and detail how these earthquakes occurred and how the island country may have been warped. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.